why the boys started in this position today? So, Pixley's match with the UFC with uh, Mickey Rod coming up. If there's a stalemate at any time in the action, they flip a coin, and when they flip a coin, the winner gets to choose. Down, butterfly guard with the uh, hands locked, or on top, in the person's position like that. So, it's a... Uh, we, uh, we're going to work on that. So he's looking pretty good, though. Looking pretty good. I feel like I didn't move. How'd you feel? I just cut his, his calves like this. He pinched. I couldn't move my fucking knee up. I can't get you over. I can't get under him? I can't move him, no. There's no there, like, when he does that, there's no moving for either of us. No. Yeah, we anywhere. Just, we just fail, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I can't open my ribs up here. This is it. <laughs> On top, don't let him score. All right, ready? Yo. What's the, what's the lowdown for the weekend? So the big weekend this weekend for the guys. We have uh, the IBGGF St. Louis. Uh, it's close. St. Louis is uh, the closest IBGGF event to us. Still not crazy close, but good, good, good group of guys uh, competing over there. They switched that to. Things got messed up. There was an ADCC Chicago. Originally, we had all signed up for that. Then Chicago, uh, they they canceled it. So then everybody signed up for St. Louis. And then ADCC Chicago came back at a different location. So got a little split. Half the guys going to ADCC Chicago. Half the team going to uh, St. Louis. And on Sunday, we're going to Clay Mayfield's anniversary. We're going to have a big anniversary bash down in Franklin, Tennessee, for the uh, Triangle Academy PSF Franklin down there. So pretty busy weekend for the crew here. Oh, Adam.
Put on the hip. Coop. I barely got you. Yeah.
Like you next year. Yeah, bro. If you would just train yes. for like two days, <laughs> you train and die for two days.
Picks UFC Fight Pass October 10th. How's our boy feeling? <laughs> Goddamn stout as an ox. Can't move that motherfucker for nothing. Are you out? Jesus Christ, talk about a weigh and half a ton. What, what's, the, what's the prediction? Prediction for the match? Michael picks the front headlock. That's my prediction for the match. Submission or just he's going to put him in front headlock? I think he wears him down with it and catches him late in the match for the three quarter. All right, I agree. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> hey, you gotta be confident. No, you don't suck. <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> Shucky is Jacob Couch. Just in case y'all didn't know, call me a notches, Gracie, <laughs> Gordon Ryan, <laughs> and whoever else beat him. Oh, 
Get out of here, bro.
gone driven away to a new home <laughs> yeah you know uh had those things for a long time like i said they were the they were the first mats i ever got um you know my, like i said my, my brother and i we, we started in the grass our towns it's a small place you know there's uh there's fourteen thousand people here and you know for a long time it was just us and uh, when we went from the grass we we went to finally we got a bedroom there's an empty bedroom he rented a house finally and we trained we trained in the you know uh, on, on the floor in there and then so I, I just saved up and we just decided man I, I, I'm gonna get these mats and uh, you know yeah they were a thousand bucks thousand bucks for a full wrestling mat it was like and at the time, man, a thousand bucks was like a hundred thousand dollars. But I remember I had exactly twelve hundred dollars to rent the truck, drive up, get the truck from Northwestern, bring them back, and uh, man, they they served their purpose uh, and paid for themselves, not financially, but just you know in every other way, like a million times over. You know, it's uh people lived on those for years you know I slept on them didn't have a place to go and I didn't have anything to give you know I gave everything that I had and, uh, you know a place to stay so people could they could eat they could be safe they had somewhere to sleep and uh, we won a lot of titles you know as well so uh, in the end those mats I hope they you know they served their purpose for me it was time for them to go and be with someone else I just and I had them in the garage. I would go out and look at them sometimes, and yeah, they they meant a lot to me. So it's uh, I'm happy that they're going to go on to, you know, help somebody else. Definitely bittersweet day. Bittersweet day. Hey, stop! 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 stop. <laughs> I bought this mat, the blue one. The first mat I ever bought was this blue one. I bought it from Northwestern University, the wrestling team. Fought on an MMA card with the guy when I was 16 and hit him up and he was coaching and then he said uh, that he'd sell it to me for a thousand bucks. Missed this mat. <laughs> 
<laughs> you want to know something interesting about the match at the Daisy Fresh? Yeah. When when uh, when Flo Zaplin did Daisy Fresh, every comment the guys would show me was people talking shit, saying, oh, staff, ringworm. We never had a fucking one staff or one ringworm in that place for years. Years. Really never. Never. Love it. <laughs> Dirtiest mats in the business, they said, and not a fucking one. That's so great. I'm glad I got the big U-Haul, dude. Shit, yeah. I see he's got the fucking logos underneath there. The rest, I've never seen those. What is it? It's got the fucking wrestling logos underneath it. That's crazy. What oh, the yeah, yeah. fuck, bro? That's a lot of fucking oh, that's wild. Yeah, it's just, uh... Cut this match. I don't even remember the guy's name, but he... I saved up all the, just all the money I had. I went up and bought him. I barely had the gas money to get back. And then we put him down in the gym. First mats ever trained down here. Really. Always in the grass or on the curb before that. Chris, we just did a we just did a little workshop at Paul's, and he has these shitty ass, you know, the square mats. Five hundred bucks on Facebook Marketplace. For, for, no, it's, <laughs> it's all you need. But these were in the garage, and. Uh, yeah, Paul's a great guy. He does a lot. Doesn't make shit off of his gym. Just gives back. Helps a bunch of guys. He was a veteran, and uh, he helped, he's in a place where uh, Fort. It's close to where? Winterwood. Fort Winterwood. Yeah. Yeah, man. So we just thought, uh, you know, we pay it forward, man. We've had a lot of people support us, so we just want to support Paul in Missouri. And now he's got some mats, and he can grow the gym. And it's a uh, bittersweet, like I said there. They, 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 they mean a lot to me, to everyone. They're just, she, people talk so much shit about the mats. I can't express this enough. <laughs> they look the shittiest, but we literally never, ever had any type of skin infection in that place, ever. Wow. And pe I love people would talk shit. And we, I don't have Instagrams or whatever, but the guys would show me and I would just think, uh, you know, pe people are funny. They, they, wa they probably uh, wash their mats fucking 10 times a day. Oh, yeah. Everywhere we'd go, people would have staff and ringworm everywhere. And I, it, it was always funny because we never had it and people were always saying it about us. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unroll, this is where people would sit. Oh, the red one was on the edge. Oh, okay. Because I, I was going to put it down. Well, when that was brand them. new. Yeah. Right. When, when, the, awesome. when the other mats were bad enough, I figured we would need a backup. Okay. So then I always okay. use that one. And then... You know, well, like yeah, I said, everyone's like, oh man, these are horrible, but they were never bad enough to, to roll that. So I'd put all the pieces down first. Okay. And then. See what we got. That's you, the one that sat underneath it. Bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. This is the Brawl in Buffalo. Marco Huas wins. Um, fights Paul Varlines. UFC. And, uh, UFC 7. Holy shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, That's crazy. And, so uh, cool. Ken Shamrock fights Oleg Tuktarov in the... Oh, my God. That's OG oh, shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was 11 when this came on. What the fuck? That's bad. Dope as hell. Yeah, Marco Huas wins the tournament. It's like uh, Jerry Harris, Rumco Pardo's in it. I hope they uh, change. They save some lives. They will. I think those. Will. I think those mats saves more lives than all of the churches combined. And, and <laughs> even though people uh, hate to hear the truth about that, I believe it, man. I believe it. I believe it. I hope they do the same. Thing they will. There. They will. Or we'll have a lot of kids running around throwing people on it. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Well, thanks, guys. All right. Let's get on the road and get them unloaded, dude. All right. What's your stuff? What just went down? What happened? What'd you get? Dude, well, my mind's been blown the last <laughs> couple of weeks. Because first of all, you guys all came out and did a seminar at our place, which I was not expecting. Like, I, uh, I, Heath was asking, I was like, hey, Heath, how's your seminar tour going? And he was like, oh, you know, not really doing a lot of seminars in missouri right now and i was like oh dude you can come to my place and uh i expected him to be like oh man it's be like you know three thousand bucks or something yeah. and he was like no nah, you know we'll just do a ticket price and uh so that was I, mean, I was happy with that with just you guys coming out and then for him to offer to give the mats you know i was like holy crap dude mind blown dude 
not just me but our whole academy everyone's like wait what we're getting the daisy fresh mats that's crazy dude. <laughs> yeah, that's so i'm gonna awesome. have to put up like a little plaque like that way Bro, people know like yeah. you gotta send me a photo of you guys at the like in the laundromat or something and then i'll yeah. like frame it put like a little museum display or yeah, something yeah yeah like these no are doubt. the og like the yeah the real yeah they're not a fresh. imitation no. you know? it's not one of those daisy fresh laundromat imitations going around on ebay no this is like this is the, the real shit, shit. the real so cool. shit. Hell yeah, man. Well, thank you, George. Yeah, fuck yeah, bro. Yeah, dude.